Hey girls, don't mind that I am half a woman right now. I've just got something on my heart and I'm testing out the theory of, I think, you know, sometimes you're called. You're called to do things and I'm called to speak. It is a burden, but it's beautiful. I have the beautiful ability to to allow or to open spaces for people to speak and to be heard and to hear and I'm very empathetic and so um, like a friend of mine and I just got off the phone and I think we are I think God places people in your life that help you carry that help carry you through things right um, for those who are new here I lost my brother in July um, then August went by and a close friend of mine lost her dad, in, her dad in September. Then a month went by, then a close friend of mine lost her brother in, in October. Um, simultaneously, we also have a friend who has a family member who's been in, a, in and out of hospital. And it just makes me feel like, you know, I think we are called to be together. We are called to be in this sistership, to be in this friendship. Um, because we're called to carry each other through. Um, we have a friend who's very anointed, who's very, who can speak a lot of life into you, and she will speak publicly into your life, which is very beautiful. I'm surrounded by faith-based women who are just learning to navigate life at a, at a different place or a different phase in their lives. And as much as it's beautiful, it's hard. It's hard because Grief doesn't allow you to exist without it, you know. What we're reflecting on today was like, you know, obviously my brother and I were very close. We had our weekly calls, like we were super close, my best friend, you know. But it, I wasn't talking to him every day. I have talked to my brother or been with my brother every day since he's passing. There's not a day that goes past and I don't think about him, I don't speak to him, I don't like interact, you know. And... I think I've carried that because that's lonely, you know? It it, 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 it it feels one directional that I'm speaking to him because obviously he can't respond, you know? But it's allowed me to show up in friendships a little different, to show up in family a little different. And there are people who, who know their purpose immediately and there are people who grow into their purpose. I think I've always known my purpose, just my, my purpose is such a burden. My purpose is to speak and to listen and, and those, those are hard emotions. It's hard to, it's hard to speak to people when you also carry as much pain or as much burden or more as them, you know. Um, but I've been told I have a way of, I have a way with words and a way of allowing or creating spaces that allow people to exist. And I think that's the most beautiful thing you can say to me. And I'm rambling a bit because I didn't, I just picked up the camera. I was like, you know what? I feel it in my heart to kind of add this as a as a closing in one of the video. There's a girl I met, um, and when I met her, we were just chatting, you know, like getting to know each other, you know, it was such a beautiful, beautiful time together. Um, it was, your God was in the room that day, man. God was in the room. God was in the room. Your outer body experience, I tell you. And essentially, like, in conversation, obviously, I mentioned, oh, yeah, I'm a YouTuber, I vlog, blah, 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 blah. And then she's like, oh, you know what you must do? I think in each segment of your vlog, you must, like, end it off with you having a conversation with the people that consume your content. And I was like, that is the craziest thing. And I said that because in that particular vlog that I was uploading the day I met her, I had closed off the vlog with like a a conversation part. It was very like, I can't even remember what I was talking about, but it was like very, it was a very, oh, actually it was when I did the video, right, my first video after my brother passed. So it was kind of me just like talking about where I was at in relation to that and whatever. And honestly, I just felt like it was the most powerful thing I've ever experienced. Because I was like, I appreciate people who see people and people who, who speak to people with 
like who speak to people where they're at. Um, and I say that in saying that I felt like she spoke to me where I was at because I am currently vocalizing or communicating in a way that is very expressive. And as a result, to her, it resonated with like, okay, you share your life, so also in, also incorporate that in how you show how you show up in your vlogs. And then I had people who were like, oh no, you should try podcasting and whatever. I was like, girl, no bae. But you know, I like you know, I might be, I might be, I might be keen to dabble in a bit of that. Um, I do kind of like the feel of like half my face. It kind of makes me feel mysterious. Um, I'm rambling, I'm rambling, I'm rambling because I really didn't have anything to say when I opened the camera, but just to say that on my heart right now is purpose, alignment and showing up and being present and vulnerability is something that's always been tough for me, not because I don't know how to be vulnerable, but I've never trusted people enough to catch me and I've had to be caught so many times in the last six months and it's felt new and it's felt shocking and it's felt beautiful and so I guess the message is show up for your people man show up even for the people that aren't your people people are going through a lot a lot and just give them grace it's not to say let people walk all over you and let people disrespect you, but understand that life happens to people the same way life happens to you. And maybe you are in a place where you can maneuver be, like better because maybe you've experienced more pain, so you know how to navigate this new pain. But perhaps for someone else, this whole, this whole pain thing is, is new and they might act a certain way or might come out or like might show up this particular way and it's valid to be hurt if it is hurtful and offensive what they say but it's also very important to then show up in the space to say you know what i hear you i receive it i don't appreciate your delivery i don't appreciate what you said or how you said it but i do hear you you know because there's so much people lose out, like people lose out so much in not being able or not vocalizing themselves, you know. I am in a place where, which I think I've kind of always been, but like I think I'm, 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 I think I'm just less bitchy about it now, but I'm in a place where I am open to, again, let me not say open, I am, I'm a good communicator, right? And so the place that I'm in now is like, I'm also not above apologizing. So I will say my piece and then the onus is on you to kind of say, okay, sharp, I, I hear you, right? I hear you, whatever, whatever, whatever I receive, but don't talk to me like that or whatever. I'm not, I mean, I'm not going to be like, I'm not going to be out my ass rude type thing, but like maybe I won't have the sensitivity because then you know sometimes i do feel like there's situations that need a bit of tough love and i'm not afraid of you as my friend i'm not afraid of you as a stranger to say okay cool i hear you and i hear the situation that you're asking my advice on or that you are asking me to listen in on or whatever this is what i feel blah 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 a b c d you know and then if you then say okay cool you know that was that was a tough bite I can say, cool, I hear that, but receive what I said in that. And at the end of the day, it's your life. You're going to do what you want. And so you're, you ask for my opinion just to get a different perspective. I am not God. You're not going to do what I say do, you know, but I do. I will never lie to you. I'll never lie to you. So if you want someone who's going to lie to you, don't ask me for my opinion because I will give you my opinion because I've got thoughts, I've got feelings and I've got opinions because I see things happen. And so therefore I'm going to vocalize them if you ask me. I will try really hard not to vocalize them if you don't ask me but like i said i'm a human so i will have noted but okay sharp i see that that's how a b and c is going or that's how this moves or whatever and i will receive that for what it is um 
but I will be compassionate and I will learn and I'll receive if someone says actually no so basically I guess just show up in your purposes and if you don't know your purpose take the time take the time to figure it out it would be a sad existence to just exist just solely for the purpose of existing find things that set you on fire and set you free and they might be scary and they might be daunting but those are great feelings to even have because you might die tomorrow and now you're a soul that's roaming around trying to figure out what was my purpose so just show up for yourself and you can learn to navigate people people are easy they're like books you read this chapter okay shop character development is needed do that read the next chapter okay cool gotta do some learning do that next chapter ugh, gotta do some new learning shop do that because honestly we are born in our per perfect self and so we just go through life trying to get back to that place so show up for your people show up for yourself and live life live life there's a day you won't be able to and so when you get to wherever you're going because some of you might be evil so when you get to where you're going you want to be able to say i stand firm in the things that i did when i was on earth so this is my thing piece for this vlog i'll just say good night now it's a bit long <coughs> bye thank you so much for watching please join if you like these little segments at the end let me know and perhaps i'll add them a bit more and if you don't oh well thanks for joining bye